Hi, I'm Julia and I'm a P3. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm also a P3. And we're both interested in policy and advocacy because we both see the impact that pharmacists have and the potential to expand this impact by highlighting the various clinical skills that we learn throughout our PharmD curriculum. We believe that a career is what you make it and we want to be able to use our education to the fullest extent as practicing pharmacists. So a couple ways that we've been active in policy as students. Um, firstly, in March, right when we went on lockdown, we both reached out to Governor Whitmer's office, urging her to pass an executive order that grants extended pharmacist roles in order to enhance patient care during the pandemic. Some examples include 90-day refills for all patients and prescribing and dispensing medications directly related to treating COVID symptoms. We were then asked to develop a formal proposal, which subsequently resulted in the passing of Executive Order 2020-25. Additionally, in June, we co-authored a paper on a proposed point of care model for Michigan pharmacists to further optimize health care and associated costs. This paper discussed various clear wave point of care tests that pharmacists have been trained to do and should be doing, as well as pharmacists being able to prescribe based on tests um, and or a physician's diagnosis code. Not only would this enable pharmacists to utilize their full set of clinical skills, but also it would lower health care costs for patients. It would also help increase access to healthcare. This paper that we co-authored was published and won the 2020 Detroit Legal Scholars Award. So our advice to pharmacy students that want to get involved is to reach out to your local legislators and state representatives. Don't be deterred if one or more of them don't have an interest in pharmacy policy. Keep reaching out and trying to find someone who shares this interest and can help you push this goal forward. We also recommend finding a group of people who share the same common goal as you as more voices helps to elevate the conversation. Lastly, use rotations in order to make connections and reach out to faculty and staff to see if they can help. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in.